Woohoo! Not too early head of you and assignment in goals. We need to finish it in this episode. Other friends can study for final exam. Thermal properties in ceramic materials. Thermal conductivity, thermal expansion, heat capacity, thermal shock resistance, maximum surface temperature. Thermal conduction. The transfer of heat within an object or between two objects that are in contact. According to the second law of thermodynamics, heat always flows in direction of lower temperature. The relationship between transported heat per unit of time and the temperature gradient through area A is described by thermal conductivity. For example, now we proceed to thermal expansion. Thermal expansion It refers to a fractional change in size of a material to change in temperature. This includes first linear expansion, two aerial expansion or superficial expansion, and three volumetric expansion or cubical expansion. Linear expansion is change in length compared to original length. Area expansion or superficial expansion is change in area compared to original area. Volumetric expansion or cubical expansion is change in volume compared to original volume. What is coefficient of thermal expansion? The coefficient of thermal expansion is the ratio of the fractional change in size of a material to each change in temperature. It is represented by the symbol alpha for solid and beta for liquid. The SI unit for coefficient of thermal expansion is 1 per Kelvin. These are equations of thermal expansion. So guys, you can look to the table. Thermal expansion for solid. First, tend to retain their shape when not constrained and so are next described by a linear coefficient of thermal expansion. Second, have an area expansion that is very nearly twice their linear expansion. And third, have a volumetric expansion that is very nearly three times their linear expansion. Thermal expansion of liquid tend to take on the shape of their container and so are best described by a volumetric coefficient of thermal expansion beta. Gases have a thermal expansion that is best described using the ideal gas law. Now, we proceed to heat capacity. Heat capacity is the amount of heat required to change its temperature by 1 degree. The amount of heat supplied to heat an object can be expressed as Q equal to C D T. What is specific heat capacity? Specific heat of capacity is the amount of heat required to change the temperature of a mass unit of a substance by 1 degree. Specific heat capacity in common term are defined at C equal to dq over mdt. It's time for thermal shock resistance. It is an ability of material to withstand shock changes in temperature. If a ceramic material is rapidly cooled, its surface reaches the temperature of cooling environment and tends to contract. Since the interior regions of the materials are still hot, thermal contraction of the skin surface is impossible. This leads to formation of tensile stress in the skin. Such thermal stresses may cause cracks and consequent fat. Hey guys, this is the Marshall formula. Maximum surface temperature. Ceramic materials retain their properties at elevated temperatures due to the strong ionic covalent bonding and working at high temperature of both repertory ceramic materials. Goodbye friends, hope you all will succeed in final exam. Created using Powtoon.